How do I allow contractors sending emails and creating calendar invites on the company behalf with a company email address? Great question. If you have a contractor that you think needs just that little bit more, you want them to represent the business, you want them to be able to send calendar events, send emails on behalf of the business, access certain resources, but not everything, the best thing to do is probably to issue them an email address for your business. Now, yes, you've got to pay for a license, bit of a pain, but that's the best way to properly protect your data. And there's a few things that you can do to kind of lock things down just a little bit for those contractors. So how I would approach that is in the admin panel, I would set up an organizational unit just for contractors. And so if you go into the user menu here, you click manage organizational units and you create a new organizational unit. I'm creating a unit called contractors here. And then with any of my external contractors that are a part of the business, I go to the user menu, I select the contractors and I move them into the appropriate organizational unit. Now, by default, that organizational unit is gonna have the same set of features, the same settings for everyone else in Google Workspace. But if I wanna, for example, lock down their access to certain applications, well, it's very easy to do that in the admin panel. I go to my apps, and then in my apps, I choose the apps that maybe I want to lock down for them. So I'll go to my app overview here, my workspace apps. And let's say, for example, this person needs to access Gmail and needs to access Calendar so they can email customers on our behalf or access a calendar to see the kind of work that they need to get access to. But I don't want them using Google Voice and they don't need to jump on or create any meetings with our team. Well, if I wanted to, I could first select test contractors, which is my contractors organizational unit here, choose the services that I want to disable or restrict. And you can see, I can click them to off and it says it's gonna switch off those services for users in that organizational unit. Now it says it'll take up to 24 hours for it to switch off but it does happen pretty quickly. So there you go, there's some things that you can do. Uh, you may even choose for contractors to give them something rather than take something away from them. One of the features I love the most is the ability to have Google Chrome remember specific bookmarks inside Google Chrome as a policy. So if you go to devices and then Chrome, you can actually set up your device settings. And where is that one? Is it in devices? No, it's not. Ah, uh, settings, okay. So if you wanna change the settings for your Chrome browsers for any of your users, including a specific organizational unit, you go to Chrome browser and then to settings. And then you wanna select the organizational unit that you're working with. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to my contractor's organizational unit. And the feature that I wanted to show off to you is bookmarks and specifically managed bookmarks. So in the managed bookmarks menu, and you'll see here it applies to people signed in on a Chrome OS device using the Chrome browser on a Mac or a PC. If they've got an Android device, it works. And if they have Chrome on phone or iPad, uh, iPhone or iPad, that also works too. Inside Manage Bookmarks, it allows you to set a set of bookmarks that everybody can see when they open up their browser. And I really love this feature. Of course, you can do things like set the home page and disable or enable the password manager if you wanna lock down the security. But this one, to me, is the most useful because it's something that people can use every day. You'll see here we have a standard set of links that everyone in the company can access and that is applied at the top level of IT Genius. Just be very careful that you go into the right organizational unit before you start messing with stuff. We go into our links and we should be able to, here we go, click the plus button and add bookmarks, folders. Here we go, add a folder. All right, contractor links. And then we can add as many links as we like and they will be applied just to this organizational unit that we have selected here. And what that's gonna look like is when someone opens a new tab, you'll see here my links menu appears here if they're a part of the contractors group, they'll get a special contractors set of links. So super, super useful. If you've got a bunch of contractors who are working for your business and you know maybe they're seasonal workers, maybe they come and go, maybe you want them to be rapidly onboarded with as little human intervention as possible. All of these little things just make your life easier. And remember, just adding them to the contractors group 
and moving their user into the contractor's organizational unit is going to apply all of these settings automatically pretty much instantly within a couple of minutes of doing that love that one now for contractors of course you want to take special care that when they're off boarded from the business that you capture all their data if you've issued a user account to them then that's a pretty easy process you would offboard them like any other employee transfer their documents you migrate their emails you make sure that everything is collected when you're offboarding and deleting their account if you want help with that or you want to take up our service to do that for you check the link down below we've got options on our website under the quick fix menu very affordable service for us to do the offboarding for you or if they're outside the business using a gmail account it doesn't hurt to just ask them to double check if they've made any documents or created anything that still exists in their my drive that might be a part of your business that they haven't yet moved into the shared drive that you own and control usually the easiest thing for them to do is to go to their drive search for your company name or anything related to your company and then you can ask them to move that into the shared drive you can also run a search on your side inside of your google drive by opening your drive and searching for documents owned by their gmail address and if there's documents that are owned by their gmail address they that means those documents have not been transferred into the shared drive that's an important tip when you're doing your offboarding and hopefully you have good success with contractors in google workspace if you need more help with what we've covered in this video it genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this click the link below to get started